Hello, students. Good evening. Hello. 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 Good evening. Hi. Good, good evening. How good are you? Good. Good. Nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay. It's a pleasure to have you here in another class. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, Anna. How are you? Hi, teacher, and you? I am very happy to see you. Uh, me too. <laughs> yes. Well, how was your day, my dear students? Good, bad, excellent, fantastic, marvelous. Good, well. So, so. Good, well. It was good. It was fabulous. Good. Fabulous. Yes. fabulous. Good. It was yeah. well. It was good. Tidying, you say, in some cases. Tidying is like when you have a lot of things to do and you're like, oh, at the end of the day, it was tidying, you say. But tidying? It was nice. Tidying. Tidying. Well, but it was nice. In some what about case... you, teacher? <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> my days, my days are nice. They yes. are they are very how can i say they are very active because mm -hmm. i have to do many things and at the end of the night when i come home and i have the class it's like the oasis for me because i i just come down and relax i really like to teach and and that's why my, my days are nice they are very stressful sometimes but yeah, that's that's the life of a teacher. Good teacher. Yeah, but it, it, have, it is you curious. have an inter interesting life. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the motherhood is the most interesting part, right? Ah, yeah. Yeah, being being in the in the other side, right? La teacher y la, y la mamá del niño que tiene otra teacher, right? It was like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> well, welcome everybody. Welcome Elmer, Julio, Mr. David, Carlos, Elba, Abigail, Mr. Eduardo, Ana, eh, Josué, Eduardo Morán, and Daisy Perez. It is a pleasure to see you. I only cannot see Josué and Eduardo. Those are the only ones. Eduardo Morán is the only one that I cannot see. But for the rest, I can see you all in the cameras and that's very nice. Well, yesterday I asked you to read uh, a little bit on the reading that it's on the platform. And today I sent you a picture about what? What was the picture about? I sent about, you a picture in WhatsApp. About the body part. About the body parts. Body, 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 body parts. Body parts. Down, down. About the parts of the health, body, right? Health. And also you have to investigate about health problems. What is the most common health problem right now? COVID. COVID. The flu. The flu, right? The flu, COVID. It, it is curious because yeah. right now COVID, yeah. allergy, the flu is like the Spider-Man's, right? Yeah. That you don't know which one is what, right? Have you seen <laughs> have you seen the meme of the five Spider-Man's? That are like you don't know. I mean, you have the flu, you have allergy, you have <laughs> a cold, or you have, I mean, these weather changes, and you don't know if it is COVID or Micron, Supertron. I don't know, Megatron. I don't know what type of crong it's, it's now. But it's, it's really terrible, right? Ahora el primer... <coughs> it's like... COVID. Is it COVID? You, you never know. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You never know. 
Well, it's not COVID-19, it's COVID-22 now. Imagine almost three years with COVID. That's so but terrible. in this case, I think that so, it's uh, Omicron. <laughs> it's Omicron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you have to be very careful, right? Yeah. Antes cuando alguien estornudaba era, salud, salud. Y ahora alguien estornuda y todo. A saber en qué piensa. <laughs> you run right away. When you listen to a person sneezing, it's like, salud. You, they don't say salud, they say, andate. <laughs> it's not salud anymore. Well, so we are going to be talking about health problems today. And we are going to be talking about the parts of the body. But first, we are going to read a little bit. We are going to practice reading. And then we are going to go with the body parts, okay? Important things about reading, right? When we read, we need to respect punctuation, right? We need to be respectful about punctuation because we cannot read just little by little, right? We cannot read like, in this case, I have the first reading right here. In this case, you cannot read uh, like this. You cannot say, my 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. No, it's not possible to read like that. In order to read, you have to check on the punctuation marks and you have to read all the way until you find a punctuation. Tenemos que leer de corrido hasta que encontremos las puntuaciones. What is the first punctuation that we have here? It's a comma on Saturday and we have to stop for a moment, right? And then continue. And I am going to go out with some friends. Hasta aquí termina la primera frase. So when you read, you have to do it like this. And you say, my 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. And you stop. Then you continue. To wish me a happy birthday, and you have a comma, they are going to pull on my ear 21 times. And you have a hash, uh, a slash there, once for each year, okay? Here is the second sentence. Hasta aquí termina la segunda oración. So you have to stop there. It's an old custom. This is the third sentence, right? Aquí termina la tercera. Some people pull on the ear just once. Tenemos una coma. You make a stop. But my friends are very traditional. And you finish here. So when you read a paragraph like this, it will go like this. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they are going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. That's the flow of the intonation that you have to give to the paragraph. Mr. Carlos, can you try to read it? Intentemos. Let's do it. Okay. My 21st. 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 Every day is on Saturday. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to go out with some friends. Ok, paremos. Mm -hmm. Recordemos que la, la oración se lee hasta donde esté el punto. Ok, entonces hasta ahí vamos a parar. Si hay una coma, hacemos una breve pausa. Pero llegamos y paramos hasta el punto. Entonces la oración iría así. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. Te paremos. me a happy birthday. They are going to pull on my year 21 times on for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the hair just once, 
but my friends are very tradi traditional. Okay, repeat with me. Once. 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 Okay, that's the pronunciation. Once. <clears throat> now let's One. practice the paragraphs. Repeat after me, Carlos. My 21st yes. birthday is on Saturday. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. My 21st birthday day, day, day first. is on Saturday. Okay, first. 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 It's not fierce, it's first. Uh, okay. First. There you go. Okay. First. My twenty-first birthday is on Saturday. My twenty-first birthday is on Saturday. Birthday. First day. No. Birthday. 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 Es que no es con i, es con e, like con e. Birthday. birthday. There you go. <laughs> My twenty-first birthday is on Saturday. My 21st birthday in, is on Saturday. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. No, I'm on a pausa. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. 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 There you go. Todos practiquenlo porque ya vamos a ver a quién le toca. <laughs> Carlito fue el sorteado de ahorita. Uh, siempre yo, Juan. Ah, because I want you to learn. I want you to practice. Ay, ya dile contesté porque me quedé hasta así. <laughs> y My por ahí se adelantaron. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. Very good. Everybody, open your microphone. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. Okay, hagan de caso que yo no soy teacher, que yo no sé inglés, que yo no lo voy a corregir y que están hablando con otro que no sabe inglés y ustedes son los masters aquí. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. And I'm going to go out with some friends. And I'm going to go out with some friends. Ok, así como hablamos español, que le dice, ¿sabes qué? Fíjate que el sábado es mi cumpleaños. Exactly like that. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday. Wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times. Okay. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times. My 21st birthday is Saturday. I'm going to go out with some Wish me a happy birthday. I'm going to be on my ear. Okay. Listen. 21 no existe. It's 21. 21. 21. 21. Okay, 21. once for each year. Once for wow. each year. Each year. Each year. It's, an it's an old custom. It's an old custom. Old custom. custom. custom no, custom. 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 It's an old custom. It's, it's an old, old custom. custom. Okay. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. 
My 21st birthday is on Saturday. I'm going to go out to my friends. I'm going to go out my friends. Are very traditional. Are very traditional. You see the ¿Ven la diferencia al momento de leer? Si usted lee con miedo, si usted lee con miedo de me voy a equivocar, la teacher me va a corregir, todos se van a reír, no. Lea sin miedo. ¿Ha visto a los americanos hablar español? Yeah. Ahí anda. Y yo querer que no se quede subir, bajar, pupusa, papusa, que no se quede cortido, cortido, cortido. ¿Cómo se dice cortido? Y ahí andan y hablan sin miedo alguno. So it's the same thing with English. Right now, you are the experts. Another person that doesn't know English, it's not going to know. A person that is more advanced is going to feel proud to listen to you. So, When you read, be confident. You are going to make mistakes on pronunciation, maybe, but you are going to feel sure that you are speaking English and that you are practicing, okay? Si tienen dudas en pronunciación, pregunte, pero no tengan miedo de practicar. So, let's do it the last time. Si alguien va adelante, atrás, no importa. Usted vaya y repita su par. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Tell me about you. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. I'm going to go out with some Saturday. I'm going to go out with some friends. Which may have to be I'm going to own my year any one time. For each year, it's an old custom. Some people belong just once. But my friends are very traditional. Very good job, my dear students. Very nice. Very nice. You sound very different. Uh -huh. Carlos, ¿sintió la diferencia de cómo leyó al principio y cómo leyó ahora al final? Okay, okay. Sí. So you see? Yeah. Let's practice the next one. We have another one here. We have another reading. Let's practice the next reading. Here we have Yan Xin Shi, Taipei. Okay. With Yan Xin Shi, remember that we need to respect the punctuation. What is the punctuation no, for this one? 16. It's Mark going to be here. Ah. Okay, marquemos las puntuaciones primero. It's uh, a special birthday. Okay. So we are birthday. going to have a family It's ceremony. A ceremony. And let me see. Relatives. Relatives and so my relatives. And long the life. last one. Life. Long life. Long life. Okay. Life. Listen first and then we practice. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we are going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. <laughs> My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we are going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Lo voy a repetir y lo pueden ir repitiendo con el micrófono apagado, ¿ok? Turn off your microphone and you can repeat. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we are going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes. From my relatives. Uh, no, no, no. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. 
My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Pronunciation questions? Envelopes. 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 Lucky noodles. is not lucky. It's lucky envelopes. Lucky envelopes. Noodles. 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 Sixteenth. Noodles son fideos. Okay. Birthday. Birthday. Sixteenth. Sixteenth. With it. Sixteenth. at the end. Okay. Now I am going to get my volunteer. Juan Eduardo. Juan Eduardo va a ser mi voluntario. Y Carlos, gracias. <laughs> okay, Juan Eduardo, can you help me to read? Okay, uh, tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we are going to have a family ceremony. I am probably going to uh, going to get some money. It's locking envelopes from my relative. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are going uh, noodles are for a long life. Okay, paragraph number one, perfect. Paragraph number two, you say, I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. Go ahead. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. I'm, I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelope, envelopes from envelopes. my relatives. <laughs> Envelopes. envelopes. There you go. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. <laughs> I am probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relative. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Very good job. You survived, Juan Eduardo. Very good. <laughs> now, everybody, open your microphones and read. One, two, and three. Go ahead. My mother is going to have a long life. A long life. Noodles are for a long life. Eduardo, go ahead. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relative. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Very good job. Very good job. Now, a lady, Daisy Perez. Go ahead. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I am probably going to get some money in lucky envelope from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Okay, good job, good job. <laughs> you say tomorrow, tomorrow. Repeat with me, tomorrow. 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 Birthday. Birthday. Family. Family. Ceremony. Ceremony. Lucky. Lucky. Lucky envelopes. Lucky envelopes. Relatives. Relatives. Noodles. Noodles. Very good job. <laughs> now we are going to go with the last two readings. Here we have the last two readings. In this one, I have Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. In this one, we have, my husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, 
the 60th birthday, it's called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Listen again. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday, it's called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Now I am going to ask Heidi to help me. My husband, husband is going to be 16 tomorrow. In Japan, the 16th birthday is calling. Continue. Kanreki. Kanreki. It's the beginning, beginning of the new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give, give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? I read that. A real hat and best. Okay, very good job, Heidi. Very nice. Something that I didn't do. Claps for Heidi. <clears throat> Something that I didn't do here is to mark the endings of the sentences. And you were stopping. Here is the first end. And then we have here another one. The question and the last one. Okay. Uh, tomorrow. Here's the first one. The difference between 16 and 60, <clears throat> it's like 40 years. Hay como 40 años de diferencia. 16 is 16. And 60, it's 60. So you say, my husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. Go with me, everybody. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. My husband, my husband is going to be 60, going tomorrow. To be tomorrow. 60, 60 tomorrow. In Japan, in Japan, in Japan, the 60th birthday, it's called Kanreki. The 60th birthday is called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life. It is the beginning of a new life. So children, oh sorry, the color red represents a new life. The color red represents represent a new life. So children often give something red as a present. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? What are children going to give him? A red hat and vest. A red hat and vest. And vest. Okay. Ahora cuéntenme el párrafo. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday, it's called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. One, two, and three. Go ahead. My husband is going to be 60 or in Japan. The 60th birthday is called Rick. It's in a new life. Color red represents a new life. Children often give some children. Are our children going to give a him red a red hat, hat and vest. A red hat and vest. Excellent. Now we have practiced three different paragraphs. The last paragraph that we have Teacher. here, yes? Teacher, what's yes. the meaning of vest? Ah, very good. It's chaleco. 
Oh. Thanks, teacher. Yes. So we have practiced three different paragraphs. I am going to give you one homework that you are going to do. Maybe not right now, but you are going to do it maybe tonight or tomorrow during the day. What is the homework going to be? In the last paragraph, y aquí le voy a enviar una foto. Let me just do it. Le voy a enviar una foto del párrafo. I need you to create a voice note about the paragraph. Okay? You are going to send a voice note to the group. Okay? Here it is. I am going to send you this one. And you are going to read it. And you are going to send me a voice note with the paragraph. Okay? You are going to do the following. For example, I am going to be 30 next week. So I am going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. And you are going to send the voice note to the group, okay? Practice it, practice it, practice it. And when you feel that you will have it, send me the voice note, okay? Ahí hoy envía la mía. Vienen hoy en la noche y mañana durante el día para que lo practiquen. Ta, 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 ta. Y cuando ya sientan que la tienen, envíen el audio, okay? okay. Ahí envíen mi ejemplo para que ustedes oigan la pronunciación. So, it is going to be a homework for everybody, okay? It is going to be a homework for everybody. The microphone teacher. <laughs> no, estaba regañando aquí a mi esposo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so that is going to be the homework for tomorrow. There you have on the group, the paragraph and the, the audio that I sent, okay? I know your, your audios are going to be even better than my audio, okay? ¿Alguna duda, pregunta acerca de la tarea? No, le da miedo. Teacher, <laughs> yes. que, que practicamos todo lo, lo, todo lo que hemos... No, only, only one, only one. Solo el último okay. que les envié. Okay. Right. ok, gracias. Yeah, only the last yeah. one. Uh, if you want to send the fourth, send the four paragraphs. For me, okay. no problem. Okay. <laughs> but okay. the last one, I need you to practice the last one, okay? Okay. Yes? Yes. 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 problemas con el internet ahorita. No sé si me repetir la tarea. Okay. Uh, the homework is that you have to send me an audio on the WhatsApp group. The homework, el audio va a ser en el grupo WhatsApp, okay? Reading the paragraph that I send you there. Ahí les envié el párrafo. Ese párrafo lo van a leer en una nota de voz. Así como lo hemos estado practicando ahorita. Y pues respetemos la puntuación y la entonación y todo. ¿Ok? Hagan de caso que me lo están contando. You say, teacher, I am going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Imagine, teacher. So <laughs> that's the same thing that you have to do. Y me van a decir, ah, usted por qué puede, teacher? No. Practice makes perfection. La práctica les va a ayudar un montón. Okay? Yesterday, I asked you to investigate about health problems because that is the topic that we are going to start working on right now. Okay. So, we have homework to do. Okay, ahora duerman en la noche. No la van a estar mandando a la una de la mañana, la tarea, porque no va a ser que metan a alguien en problema. Que el teléfono sonando, el grupo, el grupo, mi amor. Y después a mí me van a buscar el grupo. No, oh, you can send the audio tomorrow in the morning. No, Practice, no. right? Don't worry. Imagine a tree in the morning. The group. And your husband here. 
tú dices. Ajá. ¿Quién te escribe a las 3 de la mañana? Oh my el, God. Grupo. el grupo. El grupo. El grupo. Así le dicen ahora. Ok. No, Carmelo will be. Ok. So... No, tomorrow in the morning, ok? No, don't worry. Tomorrow. You can send me the, the audio tomorrow. So we're going to work on body parts. Today it's our class number five. And uh, we're going to work first on body parts. Do you know different names of parts of the body? I sent you a, an image oh, about so. it. Uh -huh. Give me examples of parts of the body. Head, 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 head eyes. 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 Nose. Eyes. Nose. 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 Shoulder. Mouth. Shoulders. Lips. Shoulders. Lips. Shoulder. Shoulder. The wrist. Heart. 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 The heart. Arms. The arms. 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 Fingers. 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 The hand. Hand. Fingers. What Fingers. is the name of this one? What is the name of this one? Don't tell me fat finger, okay? Fat finger. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fat finger, no. <laughs> no. This is no, no. thumb. 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 Because thumb. you say thumbs up. Thumbs up. It's like pulgares arriba. Thumbs up. Thumbs It's like a light, right? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Uh, what else? What other part of the body do you know? Ears, right? Ears. Tongue. The tongue. Uh, the tongue. The chest. The chest. The chest is for the boys, and for the girls, it's the breast. Breast. Breast and chest is for the boys. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the part of that you have here? The back. 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 Right, the back. Good, very good. I have Where? here. The, what is the name of this, this part? Neck. The neck. 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 There is a neck. very good Salvadorian thing that say like, te dieron en el neck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know where it comes from, right? And also head and shoulders. The shampoo, head and shoulders. <laughs> head and shoulders. It's for boys and girls. Head and shoulders. They'll <laughs> be like, ah, now I know. <laughs> Hello? Okay, what is the name of this part of your body? This one. Cachete. No, it's not cachete. <laughs> it's cheeks. The cheeks. The cheeks. The cheeks. Okay, what about this one? Teeth. Teeth. The teeth. Teeth. teeth, right? The teeth. teeth. All of them. Teeth. teeth. And these ones? Nails. 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 Very good. And this one? Hair. 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 Very good. So here I have a little picture of a, a guy, right? We have head. Can you touch your head? Head. Eye. Just don't touch your uh, eye, just point on it. Okay, <laughs> my eye. 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 Ear. The ear. 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 Nose. 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 Mouth. 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 Tooth. Only one. Tooth. 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 Teeth. All the mazorca, right? Teeth. Teeth. Chin. This part of your body, right? The chin. The wrist. This one, right? The wrist. The arm. All the arm. The elbow. 
Elbow. Elbow, when you are very tacaño, right? Huh? The elbow. Elbow. The elbow. Oh, elbow. Shiny, shiny elbow, right? Huh? Le brilla el elbow, right? The shiny elbow. <laughs> Throat. The throat. 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 throat is garganta. Right? Throat. Neck. Throat. Look neck. 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 Thumb. Yes. Thumb. 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 Hand. Thumb. Hand. Thumb. Finger. 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 Thumb. 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 Okay. Thumb. Thumb. Good. Thumb. Very good. And here we have the bottom part of your body, your leg. Can you move your leg there leg. on the chair? Move your leg. Yeah. The knee, yeah. la rodilla, the <coughs> knee. Yeah. Ah. After the 30s, the knee is like, ah, ah. Yo era buena en fútbol, pero la rodilla me la arruiné. Ah, yeah. The knee. Ankle. What is ankle? Tobillo, tobillo, right? Ankle. Yeah. Uncle is tío, right? Uncle is tío. Ankle is tobillo, right? Ankle, ankle. Ankle. Hi, ankle. No, right? Hi, uncle. Uncle is the person, right? Foot is only one. Can you move one foot? Foot. 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 Feet, the two. Feet. 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 Toes are the fingers of your foot. Toes. Toes. Son dedos de los pies. Toes. 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 To
the eyebrows eyebrows the eyelashes are this one right the eyelashes the nose the cheeks the cheeks the mouth all the mouth the thumb the thumb the shoulders right the shoulders if you are stressed you can move them a little bit there it'll be like ah, very nice the shoulders right the shoulders the arms the elbow the wrist right the wrist the hand the waist do you know what is the waist La cintura, right? The waist. The hips. What are the hips? Let me see if you know Shakira. Hips don't lie. Ah, the hips don't lie, right? <laughs> what are the hips? Cadera. Cadera. Caderas, right? The hips. <laughs> the legs, right? Las piernas. The legs. The knee. Las rodillas. The ankle. Tobillito. Tobillo. And the foot and the feet, right? Feet are the two of them. And the toes that are your little fingers of your foot. Excellent job on the body parts, people. <laughs> you are going to remember them forever, you will see. Me aprendí las partes del cuerpo como que era niño chiquito. And that would be fantastic. You will remember this moment forever. <laughs> Okay, so there, these are the different body parts, right? Here I have some more, right, body parts here. This is like a science class. Here we have the eyebrow that I was mentioning, right? Las cejas, eyebrow. The cheek, right? The cheek are the, the um, mejillas, right? The cheek. The eyebrow, the chin, that it's the barbilla, right? The chin, the eye, the mouth, the chest, el pecho, right? Arm, wrist, this. the palm. palm. This is the palm, right? The palm. The leg, the leg that it's here. The leg, the foot, the knee. The thumb, right? The finger, the tight, tight son muslos. The tight, los muslos, en las piernas, right? Like a chicken. The forehead, aquí. The forehead, this one. The head, in general, is everything, right? The head. The ear. The ear, the neck, the shoulders, right? The shoulders, the elbow, that's here. The hip, lo que les mencionaba, la cadera. The forearm, the forearm is this part of your arm, right? The arm is everything, but the forearm, it's this one. It's called antebrazo. The hand, right? The hand. Calf is pantorrilla. Calf, pantorrilla, ahí donde los calambres llegan. The calf. Ankle, heel is talón, right? It's the, the bottom part of your foot, right? You have your foot right here. You have the ankle and the heel. Heel is talón. High heels, por eso se llaman high heels, porque suben el talón, high heels. Los tacones de las chicas. And toe, que son los dedos de los pies. And chin. How do you call that in Spanish? La chimpinilla. Chin. <laughs> the chin es la parte frontal del, de, de la pierna. La chimpinilla. Justo ahí donde golpea el fútbol. The chin. <clears throat> yes. Teacher. Um, the 
y la diferencia de pronunciación entre Guadilla y Shim. Ah, very good question. Very good question. This is Ching, Ching with C. And this one is Shin with uh -huh. S. It's a little bit longer. El sonido de la, de la chimpinilla es un poco más largo con Shin. Shin. And the other one is Ching. 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 Okay, thanks. Shin. Okay, you say Ching, Ching. Shin. This Shin. one. Shin. And the other one is Shin. 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 It's a little Shin. bit longer, right? The sound. Mm. Ching, Shin. And for sure, the logic mm -hmm. of what you are talking about, right? Imagine that you say, um, uh, you know, I was shaving and I cut my chin, right? My chin. And you point at the part of the body, right? Casi siempre cuando hablamos de una parte del cuerpo se señala. And you say, ah, I have a headache. And you touch your head, right? Ah, I have a problem with my eye. And you touch it. No se han fijado que siempre que ustedes mencionan algo de su cuerpo se lo tocan. Yes. Siento un dolor aquí en el pecho. And then you do this, right? It's like, ando bien estresado. Say, ah. And then you touch the part of your body. It's very common in English or in Spanish. If you talk about a part of your body, you touch it. And then you touch the nose. Me duele la mano, you say. And then you do this. It is very common. So the difference, ching, chin, right? With the long sound, the shin, right? That's the difference. Okay, thanks. And any other question? Any other question? About the parts of the body, pronunciation? No? Nothing? <laughs> okay, no problem. So, when we talk about the parts of the body, it is very common that we talk about problems with the body. What are the most common problems with the body that we can talk about? A backache. Okay, ache, the word ache, this one means dolor. Backache, oh, earache, oh, headache, stomachache, oh, toothache, <laughs> toothache, a cold, a cold is resfriado, right? A cold, a cough, cough is <laughs> the cough, right? Fever, a fever, right? The worst enemy of 2019, 2020, 21 and 22, fever. The flu, the flu is gripe. Sore eyes, sore eyes is sore, means irritación. Sore eyes is ojos irritados. And Sore throat is <clears throat> when you have a pain on your throat. It's garganta irritada. So that is sore throat. A backache. Ah, ¿Cómo nos sentimos cuando nos duele la espalda? Ah, a backache. You say, ah, oh, I have a backache. Oh my God. An earache. Un dolor de oído. How do you feel when, when you have an earache? Ah, right, an earache. A headache. ¿Cómo me doy cuenta que todos tienen dolor de cabeza? A headache. Ah, right, a headache. A stomachache. Dolor de estómago. A stomachache. Oh. Right, a stomachache. A toothache. ¿Cómo actuamos cuando tenemos dolor de dientes? Oh, you say a thudic. That's the most horrible thing in the world. A cold. When you have runny nose, right? A cough. <laughs> a fever. The flu, sore eyes, and sore throat. I have other examples here. 
asthma. Asthma is when you have a lot of problems with your nose and your throat and your lungs and everything, right? The backache. A broken leg. A broken leg. Una pierna quebrada, right? A cold, a cough, an earache, a fever, and the flu. I also have some others. A headache. Heartburn, heartburn is like acidez or gastritis, right? Heartburn. Misless is sarampión, sarampión, misless. Rash is when you have a type of allergy and all your body hurts and you have to scratch yourself, right? Sore throat, <clears throat> stomachache, a sunburn, it's quemada por el sol. A sunburn, una quemadura del sol. And a thuric is dolor de dientes, right? A thuric. Those are the different problems with the health. Repeat after me. A backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. An earache. An um, earache. A headache. A, a, headache. Headache. a stomach ache. A stomach ache. A thuric. A, a, a cold. A, a cold. cold. A cough. A, a cough. cough. A, a, cough. A, a fever. A fever. The flu. The flu. The flu. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. Sore, Sore, eyes. eyes. Sore throat. Sore, Sore throat. throat. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Repeat number five, please. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. A thuric. Thuric. Okay, say tooth. Tooth is the end, right? Tooth. And thuric. 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 A thuric. A thuric. A stomach, a stomach, a headache, a headache. A headache. A headache. Okay, a let's headache. continue. Asthma, asthma, a backache, a, asthma. a, backache. a, backache. a, backache. a broken leg, a broken a leg, a cold, a, a cold, a cough, a cough, a cough. an eric, a, 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 a fever. Uh, the flu. The flu. A headache. A headache. Heartburn. Heartburn. Measless. Measless. A rash. A rash. A sore throat. A sore throat. A stomachache. A stomachache. Sunburn. Sunburn. A thuric. A thuric. Okay, my dear students. Now you have the different health problems. Now the questions that you use with this one is the following. You say, what's wrong? What's wrong means, ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué tenés? You say, do you have a headache? Imagine that you enter to the class and you see the teacher like this. Oh my God. What's wrong? And you say, what's wrong? Do you have a headache? Me pregunta, do you have a headache? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. You say, no, I don't. I have a thuric. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> ah, it's horrible. I'm very sorry, right? What's wrong? What's wrong is the question that it's going to give you the idea that the person has something, right? Check on the different health problems. Escojan un problema de todos los que les he presentado. Uy, what's wrong, Carlos? <laughs> And you say, I have, I have a cough. A cough. I have a cough. I have a cough. Jorge, what's wrong? 
I have. I have. A call. I have a call. Oh a call. my god. Call. Daisy, what's wrong? Stomachache. I have sore eyes. I have sore eyes. Eduardo, what's wrong? I have a stomachache. Do you have diarrhea? No. <laughs> no, I don't, you say. Very I'm good. Diarrhea. Only a stomachache. <laughs> so, we are going to continue practicing the health problems, okay? So, tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic, okay? Sigan investigando acerca de los health problems. We are going to continue with this tomorrow. So, have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.